When you live in a tiny space, you have to get really creative. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you in my teeny tiny city apartment how I've organized the bathroom, wardrobe, and kitchen to make sure that it really works for me and for us. So join me and let's dive in. Living tiny can be a really helpful thing. It's usually cheaper. You can usually live in a more central location. But a problem when we live tiny is that we have to be really organized with our spaces, how our week flows and how our space works for us and our lifestyle. I have lived tiny for a very, very long time. I have lived in rooms in share houses. I lived on my own for quite a few years in a very small apartment. And I've traveled and basically lived out of a suitcase and a backpack for months at a time for big parts of my life. And the thing is, when you have a tiny space, you have to be really intentional. So what better way than to show you what my principles are and how this works in practice. Let's head over to my tiny, tiny apartment in the city. So the first principle when it comes to utilizing your space in the best possible way is to choose storage friendly furniture. I don't mean pack as much storage furniture in as possible because that can actually have the opposite effect that you hold on to a lot of stuff. But for example, in our apartment, we have a bed that basically has six drawers underneath it. So underneath our queen size bed, we actually have lots of extra storage and it's basically like having a dresser underneath where you sleep, which doesn't take up any extra footprint. Other examples are obviously um, finding different ways of utilizing underbed storage on top of other pieces of furniture or simply picking items that don't have a big footprint but fits all the items that you need them to. It was such a cold day when I filmed this for you guys and Freya was snuggled up in my robe watching me the whole time when I was filming. Anywho, here is the other main pieces of storage furniture in this apartment. These came with the apartment, but personally I would have probably not picked a dresser and a wardrobe that is as deep as this one is. Um, there are other pieces of furniture that would have possibly sat a bit more flush up along the wall. By the way, you'll see that green bag a little bit later in the video, stay tuned for that. But as you can tell, there's actually quite a bit of hanging space and easily, I dare say, for one person, possibly even two people, depending how much clothes you have um, and how much of that is folding clothing. Because as you can see here, there's also another two shelves down here. We've got our cordless vacuum in here and the bottom one we often use for shoes. But it holds a lot of clothes in here. Now, when this one is no longer working for us, we probably will just put it up on Facebook Marketplace for free and buy a piece of furniture that is a little bit less deep and sticks into the room a little bit less than this one. All right, and in this unit, we can actually fit an awful lot of things. So in this top drawer here, we have the classic junk drawer that most places will have. So I've just got a little container here for random bits and bobs, bike lights, flashlight, things like that, some notepads and a pen. Um, and this amazing little speaker, not sponsored at all, but I got this for my birthday years ago and it is so nifty for camping and things like that. So this drawer, like any junk drawer, will frequently fill up. But what you can do with junk drawers is just go through them every now and then and empty out all the stuff you don't need. Next up, we've got um, any kind of kitchen towel type things. The kitchen is obviously just over here and I don't have a whole lot of storage there. So this is super handy to have a couple of extra of these. Next up, we've got our kind of empty games drawer, but we love Uno. If you like Uno too, let me know in the comments below. But this is just a couple of things that we're repairing and changing up around the apartment. Um, and we'll probably add more games here as we go. And finally, we have the random cables and bags and things like that. Now, this is for the internet for the apartment, which we haven't set up yet. So we will see if we end up needing that. But essentially an easy and functional storage unit. Next up is a really simple principle, but it is to divide drawers, baskets and spaces into smaller spaces so you can easily find things. This applies to bathroom drawers, kitchen drawers and a lot of other things, because if we don't divide the things into some kind of section, A, it will look really cluttered. For some people, this is a problem. I actually get a little bit stressed when things are really cluttered and visually 
annoying me. I prefer baskets and boxes of some type. I don't micro organize. If you're curious about this, you might want to check out Clutterbug here on YouTube. I will link her video below when it comes to your different types of organizing style. I can't remember which one mine is. I'll put it here on the screen, but basically I prefer bigger categories and boxes without lids so I can see what's in them, but it doesn't clutter up my visual space. Moving into the bathroom, we've got a couple of different storage furniture in here, but we'll start with this one up here. So this is a built-in medicine cabinet. It also does need a new mirror, <laughs> but in here we basically got refill soap and other items, um, some extra toilet paper, etc. And obviously I could fit more things in there if I wanted to. And down here underneath we've got my makeup bag and I will link uh, the detailed video below and up here in the corner for you if you want to see what's in this nifty little thing and how I do my minimalist makeup. So eventually this um, here will be replaced probably in a renovation in the next few years or so with something that actually has cabinetry underneath and, and a smaller basin. But for now this is fine, which is why we bought this one here from Aldi in Australia. So this drawer here is um, sort of one we use for general toiletries and this one down here is just for like towels and um, hand towels and extra bath towels and stuff. And they're really, really deep, but as you will see if I open this, and this is what happens in small spaces is that it looks like a red hot mess so this drawer is not really working very well for us it's an, and as you can see if i put my hand i don't have very big hands um this is a huge drawer <laughs> so i'm gonna just have a quick look at this clean it up a little bit and show you how much better it can look if you use really really simple tools Okay, so all I've done is taken a um, little box that I had, this is just from Ikea, and put all the small, loose bits and bobs in. Now this is so helpful, especially with small spaces, to make them uncluttered quickly. Um, the tall things I left here, and as you can see, I always lose my hair ties. So what I normally do is I put them on a bottle of some kind so that I can very easily find them when I've lost them and obviously just our toothbrushes there. But little tips like this of compartmentalizing your drawer compared to what it was like before and leaving tall items where they are can just really help you um, organize your stuff and find things quickly. So one thing that I did notice cleaning out this drawer is that I have two body lotions here. And this is a smaller sample size that a friend gave me for traveling. So it's kind of almost used up and this one is a full bottle. So the thing I would say when you're organizing and dealing with the small spaces, avoid duplicates whenever you can and try to use up what you have before you buy a new one. So I'm going to the next couple of times we stay in this flat, I'm going to be using this up before I start using this one here. So that's another way where you don't clutter up your drawers too much. Okay, so we're in my kitchen now, and this cupboard is, you've got the stove here on the side, and you've also got Freya helping me out. Hey Freya! Okay, so in the kitchen, I only really have one main cabinet for storing food and items like that. So we've got the stove here on this side, and if you haven't seen the full walkthrough of this apartment, I will link it up, um, up above. But when you're organizing a small space, it's super important that you have uh, things clearly compartmentalized. These green bins that you see here, I have another one above the stove for my spices. They are really, really handy, and my mother-in-law had them and was happy to kind of donate them to the apartment. Um, possibly not the color I would have normally picked, but they do a really good job because when you've got a small space like this, you want to compartmentalize it. So as you can see down here on the bottom, we've got some oven dishes and colander and a steamer. Um, and up here is basically all of the dry food. We've got a fridge, etc., as well. So in here, we've got things like tea, coffee, um, honey, 
broth, olive oil and things like that. And the great thing about things that you use all the time, like coffee, is that you just pull this basket out and, you know, use what you want and then pop it back. Same thing here, I've kind of compartmentalized our dried goods. So in this basket, we've got things like popcorn soup, some mac and cheese, some snacks and some miso bars. And then back to here, I've got some canned goods and pasta sauce and things like that. But trying to divide and clearly group things together is a huge help when you are setting up, especially a small space. And it also really encourages you to go through your inventory to make sure that you're not really wasting anything. And finally, the drawers for storage here in the kitchen. It's two very small drawers. You may recall how grotty and gross these looked. So I have put some contact paper in them, but we just got a really small cutlery organizer for this one. And this one here was kind of a junk drawer, but what I've done here instead is using a natural item, in this case, a box of Ziploc bags, to work as a divider in the drawer. And there's quite a few things in here, but we do use most of these things, um, you know, a small grater, whisk, you know, all these things you use when you're cooking. We actually do use these quite often. So that's another tip if you're organizing a small space and you don't really have the money to go and get a bunch of these type of things, even if you buy them in the dollar store, is that you can actually use cardboard boxes and all sorts of other things to divide into sections so things don't like slide around and get super messy. The third and final principle, which is especially important when you have a small space, is to constantly declutter. Normally, I guess, as a minimalist who now has gone through and decluttered time and time again over the past five plus years, there is very few things that I have that I don't need. But even then, I tend to go through every three to six months, I'll tackle a wardrobe, um, our cleaning supplies. Obviously, when we moved house and packed everything into storage, that was a great opportunity to get rid of extra stuff I didn't want to pay to store. And on the flip side, when we got things out of storage, I did a second and pass at a lot of my clothes and other things to make sure that I wasn't holding on to things that I wasn't going to use. So, and you might go, oh, Amy, I don't really have a lot of things that I don't need. I dare you to pause this video and go and look in a drawer or look in your closet and hand on heart, do you need all the items that are there? Reducing inventory will naturally release clutter out of your life and it will often help you keep a small space really organized. We've only had this apartment for a couple of months, but naturally as I was cleaning and getting this apartment ready, we filled this apartment up with quite a few items that we thought we were going to need that we now have duplicates of. So for example, you would have seen we had a lot of coat hangers already, there's cleaning products in here, there's extra kitchen things in here. So this whole bag of stuff in this tiny apartment was taking up really precious real estate. Related to decluttering is to think about how many of any one item that you need for yourself and your lifestyle. In this case, in this apartment, we have four of most items because that really fits the bill for what we use this apartment for. And I actually had a similar thing in my previous apartment when I lived by myself. It was very rare that I had more than three or four guests. So most often I would have four or six of any one item. Naturally, you are going to be gifted things. Maybe you get some coffee mugs for Christmas or things like that. So have a think about what you need for you and your lifestyle. An example here is my pared back spice collection because I don't do an awful lot of cooking in this apartment. So compartmentalizing the few spices I have works really well. You'll also see my drip coffee filter maker up at the top there. I really do like my coffee and I prioritize that. But essentially think about how many do you need? Is there stuff you can get rid of? Maybe donate or give to a friend or something like that to clear out your space so it works for you. And finally, I would love to hear from you guys. I have learned many of my organization tips and tricks from other people, whether it be on YouTube, blogs or elsewhere. I absolutely love helping people find better tips to organize their life. And I know that you guys have a lot of gold. So in the comments below, share your best tips for making a small space as organized as possible. And as always, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. I can't believe we're over a thousand people here on the channel at the moment. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you and I look forward to see you in the next video.